So as we now know, um, uh, Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff have won their elections in Georgia. I did my part. I voted for them. Um, you know, I didn't vote for Raphael Warnock first time. I voted for someone named Tamara, Tamara somebody. Um, I looked up a record and said that she was for universal health care. But this video, this clip, uh, shows that maybe I was wrong about Warnock about universal. Now, we do know um, Ossoff himself. Um, the, it's like the one thing I got against him. It's like the only thing I got against Ossoff is he's against universal health care. But here's a clip of, I don't know when this was, but here's a clip of uh, Raphael Warnock endorsing or at least advocating for universal health care. The problem with folk who live inside of gates, gates in front, in front of our churches, the gates we build in front of our communities. I'm not hating on those of you who live in a gated community. I'm talking about a mindset this morning. What I need you to recognize is that there are some conditions for which there are no gated communities. I, I'm so sick and tired of all of these folk talking about socialistic medicine. You're giving in to socialism. And I really get upset when I hear Christians in the midst of this debate talking about socialism. They ought to go back and read Acts chapter 2, where the Bible says that the church had all things in common. We don't have all things in common, but certainly we have some things in common. And there are some things that you can't build a gate around. Folk, folk talking as if they know what they're talking about. Using words and labels instead of gauge, engaging in analysis. You don't solve the problem simply by calling something socialism. There are some things that we have in common. We don't ask people to buy their own police protection their own fire protection. We decided long ago that we ought to pool our resources and pick up everybody's garbage so that free enterprise can take place. There are some things we have in common. There are some things you can't protect yourself from by living inside of a gate. When H1N1 breaks out, all of a sudden people forget about socialized medicine and they go and try to get a vaccine wherever they can get it, however they can get it, whenever they can get it. They'll stand in a long line, they'll leave their gated community and make their way to a free clinic in order to get an H1N1 vaccine. What can I say? I'm impressed. Now, I do intend on staying with the Catholic Church, but let's just say that had I heard of Raphael Warnock four years ago, I might still be a Baptist today. Had he been my preacher, had he been leading my church, the one I grew up going to, maybe I would have stayed with it. But, oh well. I uh my I would um for the last two months I've said about Warnock and Ossoff is sure they're not for universal health care but they're better than Purdue and Loeffler. Now I stick by that although it, hmm, I might have been wrong about Warnock being against universal health care because that he didn't actually say universal health care or Medicare for all but hmm. what I like about Warnock more than I like Ossoff and I'm not I'm not bashing Ossoff for being Jewish um I'm not. He, although he has never said anything religious. Um, I like about Warnock is he's proof. If he is a progressive, I, I have not confirmed that. I'll have to ask some people um, if he is. Um, he is part of the Christian left. And if he is progressive, the progressive Christian left. The, Christian left, whatever. I have seen too many times all the progressive people that I follow on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter they're all atheists. Mo most, if not all, of the people that I follow that are progressive are atheists. I mean, sure, you got um, Alexander Procasio Cortez, who's a Catholic. Well, I'm just saying, and, and, dude, although not of my faith, Ilhan Omar is a Muslim, but and Rashid Tlaib. But 
but you know, like the, but so many of the people who call themselves progressive with AOC being the, and now Warnock being the, uh, so exception, they tend to be atheists. I, I'm going to have to eventually come with the term that Bernie Sanders is an atheist, if agnostic, if not an atheist. And most of the people that I follow, they're atheists, you know. But I am proud to see that there is a Christian out there who believes in the same thing I do, other than, of course, AOC. And this man is from my state. Also, Raphael Warnock is the first black person to, um, in the Senate to represent a Confederate state. Uh, John Ossoff, uh, for, to, to mention him, give him some credit. Uh, he's not the first Jewish senator, but he's the first Jewish senator in a while from Georgia. Uh, but he is the first millennial in the Senate. Now, he's not a 90s kid, obviously, except for people born, uh, last year and this year. Uh, no, uh, most 90s kids are not old enough to run for the Senate. There is a 90s kid in the Congress there, though. He, Republican, but still... Although, uh, um, he's old, younger than me, which makes me feel old. Yeah, just like how, um, Jeff, the Waldorf, I think his name is, talked about how he's older than, um, Ossoff, and he's, and he was like, I feel old. And I'm like, in regards to the guy, the Congress guy, yeah, I feel your pain, dude. Feel your pain, you know, we got all, the, you know, my youth is slipping away from me. I wish I was 21 again, but Raphael Warnock, with every video I see about him being um, anti, uh, uh, he was against the Iraq war and now this universal health care thing and calling the uh, Republicans gangsters and thugs, every video I keep hearing about him is impressive. I I'm getting more and more impressed. John Ossoff, ever since... Uh, he won, other than the fact that he won, and and also that little tidbit about being the first millennial in the Senate, my opinion of him hasn't really improved. It's just been like, eh, better than Warnock, I mean, better than, uh, better, better than Purdue and Loeffler. Words are hard. Mm. But, yes, he is right. Nobody uh, has to pay the police um, out front. No one's like, oh, officer, I need you to find the guy who stole my purse. Uh, that'll be $100. Fuck, fucking fees. Uh, we pay it through our taxes. Same with the fire department. Nobody had, like, oh, my house is on fire. Uh, do you have a credit card? Uh, sure. Here's my number. No, you don't have to pay a fee for the fire department. We do that already with our taxes, and that's how universal health care should be. And that's how you win. You run, you run on populist ideas like Warnock did. Warnock and Ossoff. Okay, maybe not universal healthcare, but they did run on the $2,000 checks. And when Mitch McConnell said no, no to raising it from six hundred to 2000 a lot of people got pissed off. And even though I don't think they voted on it, um, Loeffler and Purdue, they did not... Um, they, I think they said they were in favor of it. They just didn't vote for it. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ser seriously, correct me if I'm wrong. I love Warnock. The, every time he speaks, I'm happy for him. I want him to be, along with AOC, to be leading the, the Christian left. Now, some of, you, some of you might say, well, Biden's a Catholic. He's, a He's not leftist. He's a conservative. He's a... He's like, he's like, uh, he's not Joe Manchin, which, by the way, I wouldn't be surprised if, um, within the next month, uh, Joe Manchin switches to the Republican Party, and we're back to having, um, what's his name, uh, Mitch McConnell as majority leader again. But point is, I would love to see Raphael Warnock leading the, the Christian left. There are not every single progressive on this planet is an atheist. There are some of us who believe in Jesus Christ and believe in the same things as Bernie Sanders. The Christian left is here. We exist.
Now, this isn't, I'm not trying to like saying that we need to beat the atheists, but I'm just saying I just want, I just would like to see more representation of Christian progressives. Because, you know, there are good Christians in this world. There are Christians, Catholics, Baptists, Evangelicals, well, maybe not Evangelicals, Presbyterians, whatever. There are Christians there who do believe in the word of Jesus and not in the hatred of the Republican Party. Some of us actually love our neighbors. Some of us actually believe that we are our brother's keeper. We, we, we do believe in the word of Jesus, the New Testament and all that. And whatever Old Testament that he says to, you get the idea. Not every Christian is horrible. And by the way, not every horrible person is a Christian. Donald Trump is not a Christian. And some people who claim to be Christians are not like Donald Trump. But this, Fox News attacks uh, Warnock for being anti-war and, and for this clip. And they're attacking him for the things they, for good things, and not the bad things. You know? Now, but with Ossoff and Warnock winning, um, that gives, that it splits it 50-50, but with Kamala Harris being um, the vice president, soon um that that basically gives us the minority by one um so yeah we have the we will have the majority by the 20th um uh but warnock uh while elected um he has to hold on to his seat until he has to hold on to he has to run for uh, the term of his own right in 2022 and so he's vulnerable now also if he's there for a whole six years for six years Warnock has two years because he's filling in. So Loeffler was um, filling in for uh, Isaacson, who retired for his age or something like that. Uh, age and health, I think. You know, you know, you get old. It happens to every one of us. Um, so, so she was appointed to uh, fill in his seat, and then she ran for elect. She ran for election, uh, the special election, to stay there. Um, but then, but you know, Warnock beat her, and gracefully, uh, I hate um, Loeffler. I think she needs to go back to Indiana, carpetbagger. But at least she gracefully conceded. She didn't try to imitate Trump and, and be a total dick or bitch. Um, she conceded. So, okay, but this is good. Raphael Warnock, keep it up. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go to bed now. Please pray for the nation if you are a, a, a praying person, whether you're Catholic, Jewish, Muslim, whatever. But stay awesome, stay progressive, and may the force be with you.